Hello everyone, I have a really exciting video today. If you're on this channel, it's because you like collaborations, you like DHK bags, you love luxury, you love things on a budget. If that's you, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Today I had the most special video for you. This is so exciting for me. Um, so, we'll do the small thing first. Guys, this is like so crazy. I love doing the unboxings with you guys so that you can get my real reaction. But I hate making you have to watch me open it. So story time while I open this box. That's, I try to do story time while I open it. Um, and I'll do one of you guys. I didn't start getting allergies until I decided to do a video. I threw something on real quick just to do this. Um, when I started, I was like, I want to always look cute and I'm going to look my best when I do these videos. And I've never not worn makeup. The baby wakes up as soon as I start doing this video. I'm back. Not one ounce of makeup and my hair is never done. These glasses show the reflection of the light. And <laughs> I'm just over it. But I love how this person packaged my stuff. Look how beautiful that is. And it says, um, thank you for your purchase. Thank you. So this makes me happy, guys. I almost don't want to open it. This makes me happy because it is my first time purchasing from Poshmark. So we talked about that before, your experiences with Poshmark. And I love to hear your comments below on how that went for you. Did it go well? Was it not so good was it reasonable oh my god it's in the it's in the mcm box so nice oh i'm just gonna thank this person it's a card i don't know if this is authentic but it looks like it yeah i would say so yeah most definitely it's in english and everything so that makes me happy even to know uh-oh, there's Asian. Maybe it's not real. We don't know. Right, well, it didn't cost too much, so I won't be that mad. But here it is, a nice dog. Now, this is the story that I didn't start with. You know my Crocs that I made. My MCM Times Crocs. If you haven't seen it, it's my last video. This looks really authentic. I mean, look at this hardware. Can you guys see? The hardware on it just looks so good. And it feels and looks nice. So anyway, I kind of, this was kind of an impulse brought by um, my students. Gotta go upstairs and get my Crocs. So I have my MCM Times Croc inspired shoes. So one of my students was like, this black one, it really doesn't go because this is a pit bull on my shoe and you have a different kind of dog on your purse. So it really doesn't go. Like he's saying my vision isn't really working. And I was like, laughing because I had to totally agree with him because when I was um, doing this, I was like, well, the vision is not totally there because this dog doesn't match. It's not a pit bull. Um, so after he said that, I was like, oh, let me buy it. And after I bought it, I realized why I didn't buy it because there's nothing that's ever perfect in life because this is silver. The hardware is silver. But I was like, oh, I'm going to keep it anyway. And then I was like, why did I buy it when... This one came with a dog bone, and I don't want to mess up the authenticity of the bag or the craftsmanship of the bag um, by putting a different charm on it. If you look online, all of these come with this doggy bone, different colors, different variations. So, but I agree with him. Let me move the camera down some. 
So I think, um, let's see what it looks like without it. See, I want to see if the silver is really standing out and making it look bad. So I think, I think he's right. I think it looks a lot better now and it makes more sense now when you see that pit bull MCM dog on there. So I don't think that the silver gets in the way, but it does hide my beautiful gold rivets on that side, but you still see that one and the one on this side. So I think it's fine. I love it. I'm glad I ordered it. He was so right. Um, Let's see how it looks on this bag. And mind you, these are fourth graders. Um, not that I'm bringing up these conversations with them. They see your shoes and they're like, oh, those are cool. Those are so cool. Um, because right now, I don't know about high school and college and the real world. Uh, we know the world I live in. And right now, Crocs are in style. I mean, almost everyone has them on in the middle in high school. And I think it's because of the Yeezys. The Yeezys are so, that really sets it off. And it, it could maybe do both. The Yeezys are so in style right now. And I think, you know, they're just too expensive. So people are getting Crocs instead. All right, so that's my complete to my MCM Times Croc. And I don't know if I was gonna tell you, but if you want to guys, you could totally get some Velcro. These bones are on Poshmark um, by themselves. Just put in MCM bag charms and along with the dog. I didn't see too many dogs between Poshmark and eBay, but you might be able to find one or two. You could totally put this dog on in place of the charm, the uh, wristlet charm that goes on the MCM Times Croc shoe. And I think it's cute. I really thought about it. And now I'm still thinking about it because it's super cute. But anyway, all right, let's move on. I'll try to keep it short and sweet. Let me know what you think about my pit bull. Should I keep the other dog on? Do you like my MCM Times Crocs inspired bags? Um, there's a whole video on that. Oh, and then this is in that video as well. So those, um, the cognac ones are vintage and I got them because Louis Vuitton has a cognac brand out, um, line out right now. And I said, instead of going with Louis Vuitton with this, let's go to the masterminds of cognac bags. And that would definitely be MCM. And it costs less for the same beautiful fall look. So this one's a little hard. Again, I love doing unboxings with you all, but I hate um, you guys having me watch, to watch me go through this. And I did do um, some Crocs times Balenciaga inspirational shoes, and I can't wait to share those with you guys. Um, I deleted the video because I didn't even want, I shouldn't have deleted all of it. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought, I think the part I thought I was videotaping, I wasn't. Um, I deleted it because I didn't want you guys to see me struggling to put the jewels in. That's the same why, reason why I didn't really do a video of this. I had to really chop up my video doing those because I struggled so bad to put the jewels in. Oh my God, guys. They're making, they're making this very suspenseful because it came with a bag oh my god guys i'm not ready i'm like i think this is the same excitement I, i'm like literally nervous i think this is the same excitement i had when i got my first lv bag by the way there are vh gates links below guys new improved the latest and the greatest please check them out and click on them I don't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> All right, this is a vintage piece, another vintage piece. It's a part of my vintage series. Um, I got this from eBay. I do believe it is eBay authentic, authentic, 
authenticated authenticated i think i do believe it's often ebay authenticated um if it's not i did purchase this from a seller that i've purchased some before and i trust and they have good ratings and they make a lot of sales and they're from japan if you purchase from ebay sellers from japan their products are um rumor mill and from my experience they are authentic again i have sold uh, one of the sellers bags for an upgrade for a bigger version of the bag um, on my damn year e -bean. you can check that out Louis Vuitton I have sold it to rebag so I know that they're pretty good all right guys I'm so excited this is another this is going to be a part of a collaboration video as well I am going to do the Balenciagas for less video for you guys probably on Sunday night when my hair and makeup is done because the family is taking pictures Maybe I can share those pictures with you guys. This video is short. It's only seven minutes. All right, guys. Okay, so you see that it came with the bag. And you guys can see in the corner what it says. Fendi. I can make a bag out of this. All right, guys. Oh, my God. She's so beautiful. I don't think this is the one I ordered, though, so I'm laughing. I don't think that the one I ordered, I thought had, um, let's check it out. The one I ordered, I thought had silver hardware, but I'm happy um, that this is not silver or gold. It's more of a gray, uh, what do we call this? Like a gun metal. Um, and this leather is, again, it's like my MCM leather that I have here. I'm having a hard time deciding if it's chocolate or black. It's, they're very dark chocolates. This one I can now see is chocolate. Um, This Fendi now, I'm having a hard time. Look at the hardware, guys. Take a good look. I'm so glad it's gunmetal. And I say that because um, a lot of the new straps that allow you to wear this crossbody, if you go on the MTM website, um, they are gold the hardware is gold so this is nice that it's not gold or silver so it won't clash as bad I, i'm also going to do a versace times fendi collaboration of this bag and so that has a lot of gold in it so i'm kind of happy that this is neither gold or silver because a lot of let me make sure i tell you the reason being because a lot of the versace times um a lot of the vintage Fendi has silver hardware and it clashes with the new Fendi that has gold hardware if you choose to um, buy a strap. So I'm super happy that um, I saw some bags like this, but I thought this one was a little, the hardware was a little lighter. I bought it because I like the condition, but I'm super happy to find out that it's a darker hardware. And um, if they did give me the wrong one, it's fine because it's what I wanted. It's not the small. It's the same exact pattern I wanted. So um, this is nice. So this is a Mama Zuka baguette vintage. I know I said that already. It's still something newer about it because it's not your tra traditional brown on brown Fendi. This one looks like it's a newer model, maybe from the early 2000s. It's a lighter brown, a smaller F, a lighter F. And it also has a very small Fendi going through it. It is the bigger size. Um, I've seen on eBay smaller sizes. And as you can see, it's clean as a whistle. Like it's new. Now, I have seen a couple sellers who do sell um, vintage looking Fendi very rare they might have one in their whole collection but it's usually that like i said the silver hardware with the darker brown um again i'm gonna say that this is authentic because the threading on the dupes would not this is would be like a 20 year old bag and someone must have not have worn this much or um the person who sold it maybe redid it cleaned it up but I always get lucky and get um, 
bags that look in. Now, what I will say, the hardware is a little scratched. That's the only thing that is really standing out for me. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the hardware is in a little scratch. That's the only thing that's standing out. Maybe someone bought this for someone and they didn't like it. They never wore it. The inside is pristine. Can you guys see? Let me try to dump the camera down. The inside is pristine. It has a zip pocket. Oh my gosh. Look at the hardware. That that gunmetal hardware is to die for. And it is super cute. With um, see, I don't know if it's real because it's got that hieroglyph. Um and it is super cute with the gunmetal. All right, so let's look at the paperwork, see if it proves any authenticity. So we have Borsa Pasalida Zucca Toromono Pana. I don't know. It says made in Italy. I mean, again, I did get this from Japan, and they say that the used market in Japan is authentic. But um, it's not in English. I mean, I don't expect it to be, though, really, the paperwork. But neither is my paperwork that's not authentic, so. But what I will say, this doesn't have any outlandish, like, receipt. This looks like it really is authentic from Japan because everything is in Japanese. Where with the um, dupes, it'll be half English, half Japanese. And this paper, guys, if you can see, this is some serious paper. I have other, I have dupes though. Paper is not as good as this paper. And then there is some type of stamp on the back that I usually don't see. So, I do believe this is authentic. Do, but you know I don't think this one was authenticated let me check I thought I bought something that was authenticated um let me check the bag and see but they usually hang it from the bag when it's authenticated so no there's nothing in here but it also the fact that it came with this dust bag and I think this dust bag is of a good quality what do you guys think oh you know what else I can say about this dust bag it's definitely worn like it's old. So it leads me to believe that since the bag is not worn, the bag has been inside this dust bag for years and the string, however, has suffered. Or is the dust bag real and the bag fake? I don't know, but I think it's real. Everything proves to be real to me. Um, and I believe I've ordered from this seller before. He's really good. But if you're in doubt, definitely, guys, um, you can, it was plenty of these that were eBay authenticated. I just chose this one because I like the color scheme. I like the design. I wanted the older look, but you guys know I like to be a little different. So I went with this. It has a good amount of space. So when you're buying these, make sure you get the size that you want. This is the bigger one. The smaller ones, you can tell they are not as wide so look at the width see how wide this one is you can't really tell because of how it's folded but if you want the smaller kind you're a party person you're out more and you want something smaller then that's that i can also buy something to make this a cross body it doesn't look bad on me and the reason why i got a bigger one is because of my arms and body frame um i don't want it to get lost in my arms and my body frame so i got this Let's stuff it with a few things so you guys can get the real feel of it. I think if I do this, I just put this box in here. It fit. This might be a good bag to get a bag on. I don't want to mess up the bag. This might be a big, good bag to get a bag organizer for. So I will insert this, whether or not this was authenticated and this person's ratings. And maybe I should start telling you guys some of the people that I suggest, but I'm scared because if you guys ever found out that my suggestions weren't good. But yeah, so you can kind of get a feel for 
how it is. So this bag, I believe, costed me four, close to five hundred. Am I lying? Was it less than that? There's definitely ones less than that. There's definitely ones more. But I think it's worth um, every penny. There is somewhere here, and that's probably because the person um, let it sit for years or for a long time in the dust bag for too long. The leather is a little worn, probably because it's just been sitting and no one conditioned it. So I'm going to condition this one and my MCM. The MCM, I think, guys, the last video I said I wouldn't paint it. I think I'm going to get some dark chocolate paint and paint over um, this bag. All right, guys, that's 17 minutes. I try to keep it short. Tell me how you like my vintage bag from eBay. Just look up Mama Bag Zuka baguette yeah mama Fendi mama zuka baguette i'll put it in the description along with my dh gate links do you like this better do you like the newer versions better what is your preference the newer versions are like three four five thousand dollars the one i want is definitely like five thousand because i like the um Fendi Times Versace bag and it has like a scarf and it's like so beautiful but I will be doing that um inspire inspiration with this and the shoes that I bought from Versace Jeans Couture all right guys I'm gonna go feed this baby hopefully next time I do a video I'll be all dolled up for you guys I want to start showing you how I wear these bags on my um Instagram that is Precious underscore naturals underscore. If you have any questions, you can email me there. Thank you and have a good night.